Hi, Barbara. This is Ellen again. Thanks for pointing out that you had another essay. Uh, it wasn't clear when I saw your first email, so thanks for letting me know. All right, let's take a look at your international marketing uh, essay. International marketing seems to be invasive and intrusive to many countries, while it can also be an economical method to educate people about different languages, cultures, and ideas. My belief is that global marketing is important and has more benefits. Okay, the good news is, is that you included your opinion here, which is great. You're supposed to do that. They asked you to do it right here. And, um, I mean, it's, it's fine, but it does have one issue. It's a little too close in terms of the vocabulary to the actual prompt you have here. Invasive and intrusive, invasive and intrusion. Even here, it's just, you just, you know, change the order around. So you have to supply a little more of your own vocabulary, okay? All right, let's move on. Um, global marketing can interfere in the economic interests of a country. Therefore, a government must make fair arrangements and contracts to reach benefits and not lose money or goods in the process. It is also known that other countries can import a variety of items that must attract local people. In order to do that, these foreign companies can deliver some surveys to be answered by the population. However, the cumulative emails reception can be quite annoying for citizens as they may receive more than 50 emails per day. Furthermore, marketing can be pretty persuasive and demanding, and when it combines with the inevitable globalization, it could lead to a complete change of a country's culture. Okay. Um, there are a few things that I want to talk about here. Uh, you had a nice introductory sentence here that was good. There were some pieces of vocabulary and grammar that I thought were a little awkward, um, like this here, cumulative emails reception. That's a kind of awkward expression. Uh, combines with the inevitable globalization also felt a little um, awkward. So I'd like to see those rewritten. Uh, but to me, what's even more important is um, is task achievement here. Um, like I said, you had a really strong um, first sentence. It was very good. But then um, the way you organized your ideas got a little, um, it didn't have a very logical progression. So let me explain to you what I mean. You've got this nice sentence here. Global marketing can interfere with the economic interests of a country. So what we expect to hear then is how that happens, okay? But um, instead, you don't do that. You start telling us what governments should do to, to correct that, and that's not a logical progression. So what you really needed here, uh, instead of this whole sentence, okay, get rid of that, and then what you really needed is after global marketing can interfere with the economic interests of a country, you need to tell us uh, how this happens or uh, in what way this happens. What do the marketers from overseas do um, to, to somehow create this problem? Okay? Okay, how does it do that? So um, explain to us an example that you know or that you could think of that could possibly explain this, okay? And then here it looks like you had a second idea um, it too, I thought needed to be a little more clearly expressed. Um, let's see. Why don't we do something different with this sentence? All right. So, uh, it is also known that, um, international companies in their efforts to, uh, attract, um, um, local consumers, um, may, um, use tactics, marketing tactics that can feel rather intrusive. For example, um, in order to gain marketing information, uh, they may send many surveys to, uh, to people, um, and this, uh, and the re, let's see, and these emails can be quite annoying, uh, especially when they receive over 50 per day. Okay, so doing some of that, I think, would have made this um, a little better linked, and um, it just makes the task achievement better. So it's a little bit of both. It's both coherence and cohesion, but also task achievement here that I think needed to be a little better organized. Um, okay, and then, uh, I didn't really like this expression here, pretty persuasive. Pretty is considered rather informal, so I would avoid that. 
Um, and then we don't say this combines w with the inevitable globalization. That felt a little strange to me, this whole expression. Um, now here, look at what happened here. You said it could lead to a complete change of a country's culture, but you never tell us how that could happen, all right? Remember, you want to tell us um, how, whenever you state an idea, uh, explain to us why or, or how. So um, you need to go a little more detail here. However, you already had two ideas in this paragraph. So if you had um, developed them a little more fully, then you could have left this out. Okay. So stick to, you know, maybe a maximum of, of two ideas that support what it is you're trying to say, but absolutely make sure that you develop them and give some explanation or some uh, support for them. All right, moving on. This should be despite this without the of. So despite this, international marketing is necessary and can be one of the best methods to improve people's education. That's a good topic sentence. Lovely. It can raise a knowledge of different cultures, overseas food, and clothes. Okay, how? Information about international customs can be easier to get and learnt by the society, and this could enrich it. Okay, how? Also, citizens can learn a new language even though they do not attend particular classes without the two. All right, guess what I'm going to ask you? How? <laughs> okay. Furthermore, all this is attainable without spending lots of money. So now, look what happened. You had some lovely ideas, but the way it was written, um, this paragraph was written, it reads like a list. Okay, so again, um, stick to just a couple of ideas to support your argument, but develop them. Get into some detail. Explain to us the how and the why. All right? In my opinion, international marketing is a cheap and essential method to achieve a better education for a country. All right, that, that's fine. Um, so for me, as you could probably guess, my, uh, my feedback about this essay is that it did have a lot of good elements. It was on topic, which is great because a lot of people really struggle with this topic, um, and you didn't. Um, but where you did have some problems with was with task achievement. Um, I will start there. Okay, because you didn't really support a lot of your ideas appropriately. And then you also had some little issues with coherence and cohesion um, in the fact, in the, how can I say this? In the sense that you didn't really organize um, your ideas um, as well as they could have been organized. So there wasn't really a clear logical progression to your ideas. So it was those two things for me. There were some grammatical mistakes, but it wasn't really anything serious. Now, I know your exam is coming up, so um, you probably just want some last minute feedback to help you prepare uh, for your exam. So I hope that this information about task achievement will help you, and I hope that you can apply it um, when you do take your test. Uh, I want to wish you tons and tons of luck on your exam. Um, I hope that you'll get the score you need and that you'll never have to, you know, talk to us again. But if for whatever reason you do, um, you do need some further assistance from us, please don't hesitate to contact us. Okay. Best of luck to you.